Can you sleep with a tampon in? The answer is not always yes, so if you use tampons, please watch this video. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author and educator. My channel is the health class you didn't get in high school and this one is super important. So please watch, share, like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. Can you sleep with one of these in? Obviously not all three at once. Let's talk about that. The answer is yes, usually, but there's a few things you need to keep in mind in order to sleep with a tampon more safely. And before I even start talking about this, go to the comment section and let me know how many of you have been told to never, ever, ever sleep with a tampon in. And bonus points if you can tell me if a doctor told you that because we need to clear this up. So the reason a lot of people say, oh my gosh, no, you can't sleep with a tampon in, or they do it, but they're really nervous about it and feel like they're doing something wrong is because they're afraid of this TSS or toxic shock syndrome. And I know it sounds really scary, right? Well, let's break it down. So TSS is a bacterial infection that can be caused by usually one of these three bacteria. And what happens is they get into your system and they produce a toxin that can get you very sick very quickly. And the reason we all grew up thinking tampons like meant that you were gonna get toxic shock syndrome is because that there was a time in the 1970s and 80s when we were seeing this linkage. There was a kind of tampon that was using super absorbent material and they were being left in too long, and yeah, people were getting TSS. Since then, those kinds of tampons have been pulled from the market. And now one of the most common ways to get toxic shock syndrome is not from using tampons, but from other things like surgical infections, burns from, you know, bacteria that we have on the skin getting into our bloodstream and causing an infection that way. So you can see the symptoms listed here, and if you're like me, you look at that and you're like, oh my gosh, that's super not specific. I have those things sometimes. I do want to reiterate that toxic shock syndrome is usually a very quick, progressive, very severe, very obvious disease that we can see. It's not just like you have a mild headache. And let me reiterate before you panic that toxic shock syndrome is extremely rare. The chances of developing it are about one in 100,000. So not super common, but yes, there's still things that we can do to make that risk even lower by being safe. So here are my three top tips for sleeping with a tampon in. Number one, you can sleep with a tampon in as long as you don't sleep longer than eight hours. So if you wanna hit the snooze button, have a lazy weekend, then a tampon might not be the best choice for you. You can use other options like pads, cups, period underwear, those sorts of things. Number two, choose the right kind of tampon for your flow. Meaning if you're having a lighter flow, then don't use one that's a higher absorbency. And I told you that those really super absorbent tampons that were linked with TSS were pulled off the market. So they're not there anymore, but still you don't need to use a super tampon if you're not having a heavier flow. And this is really just to bring that risk that is low, even lower. And lastly, number three, if you are gonna sleep with a tampon in, go ahead and set your alarm. Don't rely on your own own body clock to wake you up by eight hours, even if you normally sleep less than that. It's just better to be safe that way. And I wanna clear up this myth that tampons themselves don't cause toxic shock syndrome. It's the bacteria that is growing in there. And so I don't want you to think that the tampons themselves have the bacteria and that they are causing the infection. I know it's a kind of a tiny thing to clarify, but I think it's really important because oftentimes tampons get blamed and that's not technically the case. Okay, at the end of the day, it is up to you what period product you use. And even after watching this, if you say, Dr. Jen, I am still not going to bed with a tampon in, I am, it makes me too nervous, it makes me too worried, I hear you, then use something else. It's totally up to you. It's all about making informed choices, having reliable scientific information, which as always references and resources in my show notes and not getting scared off of using something that if you had the right info, you might worry less and use it for you. Okay, comments, questions, thoughts, drop them in the comments section below. Until next time, know that you can safely use tampons, just not more than one at once if, if you're bleeding and you're you need to check in with a doctor. Okay, all right, see you next time.